Hello, and welcome to Courageous Doctors, the new show for you and your physician. On this show, we're going to cover Obamacare updates, other health care updates, and health and safety tips. Now let's begin. The New York Times reports that the Senate approved a budget to repeal Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act, giving a $4.2 trillion cut over 10 years, and the cut would be to Medicare, Medicaid, and food stamps. The Hill says that this is partly in response to the Congressional Budget Office, the CBO report, that Obamacare plans to increase its administrative costs by a quarter of a trillion dollars this year. Star-Ledger reports that the Obamacare tax on Medicaid that's supposed to be paid by the insurance companies as a way of helping it out, helping it to have money to administrate, it's actually paid by the states who give it to the insurance companies to give to the government. Now, the private insurance companies also have to pay a tax, but they get it back by raising our premiums. So the insurance companies don't lose. CNBC reports that one half of Obamacare customers are having difficulty in paying their premiums. And this is from the Kaiser Family Foundation study. And this is also in spite of receiving the government federal subsidy. <clears throat> Pittsburgh Post-Gazette says that hospitals are actually losing money from Obamacare patients because these patients are not meeting their very high deductibles and they don't have the money to pay the hospital bills. The Wall Street Journal uh, looked at a survey of 2,000 emergency room physicians from the American College of Emergency Room Physicians who said that ER visits went up after Obamacare because patients could not find the primary care doctor. The Washington Post says that one quarter of those in buying insurance on their own could not afford medical tests or visits to a doctor. Very bad. Congressional Quarterly says that we're still having a glitch in the Affordable Care Act enrollment that may jeopardize coverage for two million children now on government CHIP programs. That's government insurance. The New York Times said that the governor will penalize insurance companies who don't update their doctor directory, which then would allow patients to go to the wrong doctor and have to pay on their own. New York Times also said that the Center for uh, Medicaid and Medicare proposes premium rates to go up no more than 10 percent. They've been getting reports that insurance companies want to raise as much as 80 percent. They're trying to hold it down to, to 10 percent but it's going up. The National Journal says that uh, in California, Obamacare had um, actually capped the amount of drug copay that people have to pay to $250 a month, and they're the first in the country to do it. So let's see, this may be a trend. Uh, Wall Street Journal says that we still have drug shortages in hospitals, and uh, due to a lack of production, improper equipment, maintenance, and contamination of, uh, of older plants. Hi, I'm Randy Lupo, host of the Randy Lupo Show on Broadband Box Office. Wait, is that a tongue twister or an alliteration? Come meet my favorite people, comedians, actors, writers, spiritual people, and everyone in between. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Hi, I'm Ingrid Burke. And I'm Gina Unger. Gina has known Dr. Barry in a professional and personal capacity for many years, and we are thrilled to be in his building. We are psychotherapists, and we offer mental health counseling for ages 12 and up. We do individual, couples, and family counseling. We're also excited to say that we have groups that we have for teenage boys and girls for social skills, anger management, and self-esteem building. If you need to reach us, check us out at lifeworksnj.com. Our phone numbers are also listed on that website if you'd like to contact us. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Marla Gruber, holistic health coach, smile expert, founder of the WIND program for children, a yogi trainee, and a mom to two teenage children. I'm excited to introduce into Dr. Barry's office my services of increasing your child's positive energy. My goal is to get the body comfortable so it can function at its full potential, enabling them to smile from the inside out daily. 
I will help both you and your child understand that being healthy is not just an absence of disease, it's having vitality. I believe that life is a journey, not a destination. I will help you enjoy the process of guiding your child to living a better quality of life and being the best that they can be. I look forward to helping you. Thank you for listening and keep smiling. Let's move on to other health care updates now. New York Times says that five studies in Europe recommend treating appendicitis with antibiotics rather than surgery. Um, they're doing it also here in California. My own son recently uh, went to an emergency room and, uh, for appendicitis and he was treated with an antibiotic and did okay. The uh, governor of Minnesota has declared a state of emergency over bird flu outbreaks. This is the very scary bird flu, like over in China. Um, this was in turkeys, not in people. It's not being spread to people, and none of the meat has been sold to people. But it's through multi-states now, not just Minnesota. And these uh, birds and turkeys are, are being destroyed. Star Ledger says that the patient from West Africa uh, died in the New Jersey hospital from what's called Lassa fever. Uh, they think that the, um, the government's all over this, CDC, and uh, they've been investigating contacts uh, both in personal family and from the plane. They don't think Lassa fever, which is similar to Ebola, is spread nearly as easily as Ebola, so there's really no threat or worry, uh, but the patient did die. The New Jersey State Department of Health has said that uh, we were on a measles watch uh, in the Middlesex County uh, due to an expo exposure at a funeral parlor. We'll see if that spreads. USA Today said that the Army mistakenly sent out from one of its uh, Midwestern labs uh, live anthrax samples to multiple labs around the country, including Australia and South Korea. Uh, nobody fortunately got hurt. <clears throat> They're on uh, protective antibiotics against anthrax, and the Army is investigating, along with the CDC, how this happened. The CDC uh, is also reporting resistant dysentery. We've had problems with resistant germs for a long time now, but uh, Shigella is the latest to be reported recently as uh, showing up with resistant uh, disease. The New York Times has also broke the news on uh, MERS, M-E-R-S, the Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome. This is a very scary killer kind of flu uh, in the Mideast that has spread to South Korea. Thousands of people involved, many have died. As of yet, there's no restrictions to South Korea on travel, but people are being quarantined. And we've all, as physicians locally, even here in Jersey, we've been put on alert to look for anybody coming from uh, these areas that might be sick. Um, the Time did an interesting study uh, at Mercy Children's Hospital on asthmatics and found that 22% of the asthmatics had peanut allergies. Who would have known? Star Ledger did a very interesting study talking with the uh, National Institute of Health about vitamin D which is the new vitamin C, we all, we all take it every day, helping our body and bones and nerves and muscles, reducing inflammation, heart disease and diabetes. And uh, vitamin D, as you know, is activated in the skin on sun exposure, and most of us take supplements. Uh, they warned not to take more than 4,000 units, uh, and they said to take it with fatty meals to increase absorption because it's a fatty vitamin. Star Ledger uh, reports on tick disease uh, and Lyme disease. And if you look at your monitor, what the um, symptoms of Lyme disease are, but some of the ways you can prevent it, as they suggest here, is to shower after you walk out into fields with tall grass or wooded areas, um, to use repellents, to try to vacation in areas uh, like beaches and all that aren't close by ticks, although lake areas do have a lot of ticks. Wear uh, clothes uh, that cover your body. Uh, tumble dry your clothes in a dryer with increased heat. 
uh, see your doctor if you think you've been exposed. And remember, the tick must be on for at least 24 hours before it passes the line. Now, let's go on to, lastly, other health and safety tips. NBC News says that 29 million health records were hacked online between 2010 and 2013. And Bloomberg News says that cyber attacks on hospital medical records are also increasing. New York Times says that consumer groups want to stop the sale of caffeine powder, which is sold as a dietary supplement online. One tablespoon is lethal. Oh, boy. Associated Press says that the Environmental Protection Agency is releasing new guidelines on toxic algae levels in drinking water. That doesn't sound good. The Washington Post has said that the Health and Human Service is lowering the amount of fluoride allowed in the water. Now, right here in New Jersey, according to Star Ledger, less than 15 percent of our New Jersey water actually has fluoride, which is why the American Dental Association makes uh, us, the pediatricians, prescribe fluoride for children. Uh, the amount that we prescribe is well under the safe limit of what the State Department of Health is recommending. Washington Post says that the antibiotic shortages in hospitals are lasting months at a time. Time reports that probiotics may contain gluten. Um, so you have to really be careful. I myself uh, cannot eat gluten, and I'm telling you, you really got to look at the contents of all foods. My probiotic doesn't contain it, but before reading this article, that's one place I never thought to look. Star Ledger gave tips on avoiding pollens. As you know, we've had a very horrible tree allergy season, uh, which has disturbed all of us and all of my patients. And they say, minimize outdoor activity between 5 and 10 a.m. That I didn't know, that the pollen count is worse, 5 to 10 a.m. Keep windows closed, air conditioner on, vacation where the pollen is low, wear masks if you're raking leaves, that's interesting, and see your doctor for medicine. The Star Ledger also did an article on suntan lotion, and this was very intriguing. Uh, false information was given, uh, this was a study they read, false information was given on suntan lotion protection, the sun protection factor, the SPF, on one third of the products that were tested. In terms of protection from UV rays, as you know, UVB is the one most often uh, in these lotions, but UVA is good to protect against, too. The, um, it was interesting. They also said that if you compare the difference in protection between a 15, a 30, a 50, and a 100 for the SPF factor, sun protection, sun protection factor, 93% um, of the rays are blocked with a 15, 99% are blocked with 100, and the others are in between. So when you go over a 15, you're really not getting that much more protection, which I thought was interesting. Star Ledger also said that there is a New Jersey Senate bill now on regulating safe breast milk banks. You know, some women want to breastfeed, but they have trouble with having their milk come in. I see that all the time in the hospital. So they go online, and then they get milk that's actually cow's milk which is horrific. So uh, S Senator Weinberg, she's wonderful with all these uh, kind of issues, um, put through a bill uh, through the Senate and trying to go through the House where the State Department of Health will regulate uh, exactly uh, what a safe bank would be and to uh, bank breast milk in the hospitals and so it can be available for these moms to make sure it's really breast milk. I hope the bill goes through. We'll keep you in touch on that. And lastly, Star Ledger did an article on choosing fruit. Summertime, that's a very nice way to end this broadcast. Get this, those that ripen and mature on the tree plant will spoil faster. So if they mature but also ripen while they're still on the plant, they're likely to spoil faster. Those include citrus fruits, berries, cucumbers, and grapes. Those that continue to ripen, now they're mature, but they continue to ripen when they're taken off of the plant will last longer, such as apples, peaches, plums, nectarines, tomatoes, and some melons. 
And thank you today for watching this broadcast. As always, we enjoy bringing you the latest in medical news, and we enjoy hearing from you in terms of your response. We look forward to seeing you again next month. Enjoy the rest of the day.